Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial about how to create a YouTube account. Um, we are going to, my husband and I, John, are going to um, show you how to do the, the, the YouTube set it up from, uh, from a point where um, if you want to, you can use an existing email or you can create um, uh, an email like I did um, that was specific for my cooking show. And, um, and then I'll show you how to upload um, videos to it. And, um, and then we will probably do a little bit of a segment on, um, on lighting and, and um, showing your, um, um, your pots and pans or your uh, workspace, wherever you're doing your uh, show. So, um, <clears throat> generally, you just, if you go to Google, Google or YouTube is a Google product. If you go to uh, google.com and you go to these this little um, um, grid of dots, you can create a new email. So um, it's very easy to do. You create a new account and um, you can say whatever um, it, your um, business is. Uh, you know the name of your business. Mine's Crankin's Kitchen, uh, or Cooking with Crankin. Either way, so you know, just put put that. Um, you want it to be called. Well, actually, you can maybe put your name in there, and then put a Cooking Show, and then you can see here it'll say at gmail.com, and then you put in your password. Well, it'll tell you whether it's taken or not. So it'll also suggest uh, cooking show, whatever, uh, ranking Kim, whatever. It'll give you variations that it's taking from what you've put in here and, um, and telling you. So let's, um, let's take a uh, cooking show 695 and we're going to put in a password. We're going to confirm. And we are going to hit next. And we can put in a phone number that's optional. And all of this is optional as well. Well, maybe it's not optional as well. So you can put in um, the information that you want. And then go and click agree. And now I have um, my own new email. So while I'm in my email, I can go to, now I could go to YouTube and I could go sign in and it already has me signed in as my account. Um, so I can, uh, you can see here, I'm already signed in as my cooking show and I can create a channel. Um, I can upload a picture and um, the channel is just really a, a folder of, of where your, your things are going to be saved. Um, when you're in your channel, you go to your videos and it brings you to the YouTube studio. So you can create and do a live or you could upload videos that you've already recorded. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pretend that, um, that I have my own other um, email. One 
and sign out. So now that I've signed out, we're going to go directly to YouTube. And we're going to click sign in. And here we're going to click create account. I'm going to create it to manage my business. And I'm going to put in a password. Hit next. Doesn't like my password. It's going to verify that you actually own that email or you have access to that email. Um, so I'm going to go to my email on my phone. And I'm going to put in the code that it gave me. And verify that that is actually my my account. So we put in this information. Click on next. These are the terms. You can read them if you want. Say I agree. And uh, the account is all set up and I can click on continue and it will actually walk me through uh, the business profile, what my business name is. You don't have to add anything. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You can just keep on going. And you can upload a picture and then we're going to create the channel. So you can customize your channel. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can um, put uh, add a trailer. Um, this is getting really fancy, and I'm not really um, uh, really up on all of this stuff. But there's some some pretty neat things you can do. Um, monetization. If you ever thought that you know your YouTube channel was going to take off, you need uh, a thousand subscribers before you can get. Uh, um, paid, subtitles, analytics, playlists, etc. Um, so initially you're just going to want to upload videos and um, so we're going to do that. So you click on upload videos, you could do it in the create button here. We're going to select files, we're going to select um, this egg bites and you can see that it's uploading. And now it gives you this uh, template of things to um, step through. So while it's uploading, you can um, uh, use the editor and put in a title and a description. And we're just going to say a bite um, feature. You 
can put all of the information in here. You can do it later as well, so it's not um, essential. Your thumbnail, you can select a picture from what is in your video, or you can select a video, uh, picture of what you your product is or your end result is. Um, my, uh, my daughter tells me that um, you need to put a, a really good thumbnail so people will be enticed to go and see it. Um, if you're going to add it to a playlist, you can put it there. And um, this is around um, age restrictions and whether your content is, uh, is applicable for kids. So um, cooking show, it's made for kids. It's, it's okay. So I'm going to go next. And you can put in other things here. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about that, but uh, adding subtitles and maybe some credits or um, other things. Click on next and um, it's going to check to see if there's any um, copyright infringement. Then when you publish it, um, you'll want, for me, I want the public to see it. I want everybody to see it. Uh, so I'm going to click on public, but you can see the descriptions here. Unlisted um, means that uh, anybody with a video can, or anybody with a link can watch the video. Um, and private means that only the people that you choose can watch the video. So that's up to you, but um, I, uh, I would choose public. You can schedule it if, uh, if you're doing a bunch of videos at the same time. And then you just click on publish. And so it comes up here and this is the link that you can send out to people. Um, you can also send it to different applications. And, uh, and then it's on your, um, yeah, in your content. Um, the great thing about it is, is like I said, you can go and edit after the fact. And as well, you can look at the analytics, you can look at the comments and then you can view it as well. So that is how you upload a video. Okay, so let's say you want to uh, make a video. Um, you know, you're going to do your cooking show or what have you. And uh, first thing you're going to need is a way to hold your camera. And you don't need to be fancy. Um, you know, Walmart has some deals on very cheap uh, tripods. Um, you will definitely need to uh, to have an attachment um, that will hold your phone uh, if you are shooting with a cell phone versus a camera. Um, so one of the things you can do uh, is uh, you know you can have if if you have a an island if you're going to be shooting you know kind of standing behind an island uh, maybe you want a regular uh, tripod to to set your phone your camera what have you on and it's just it's in one location uh, you know you can't really move it too much um, but what some folks will do is uh, they'll buy one of these small uh, flexible tripods so you can see one here they're only about 10 bucks and uh, you know you can sometimes find these at the dollar store even um, and uh, so that you can mount your your phone on it and uh, and you can also use the bracket uh, on a regular tripod as well um, but you can you know kind of curl this around your around your cupboards or what have you and then you know, just just a, a way to hold your phone uh, kind of out of the way for you to do your video. Um, the other option um, and the other thing we should talk about is uh, is lighting. So you want to have proper lighting for your video and uh, you know just to make sure that, that everything looks good because if you want to you know you want to put this content out on on YouTube or, or Facebook you know that's that's the way to do it and uh, <clears throat> so you know, you can, you can find all sorts of, of lighting tutorials. Uh, so I'm not going to go through that with you, but just, you know, a way to have lighting. And if you're, you know, you're doing a, a cooking video, you want to make sure that you have good light um, and it's not too dark and people can see what you're doing. Um, so lots of tips on how to light videos uh, in here, but you don't need, you know, these fancy, 
uh, light boxes and things like that. Again, you can find at Walmart these uh, these ring lights uh, for about uh, $40 or so. Um, now this one has uh, different colors, but you typically use white or uh, you know you can get a like an LED a bright uh, white LED, or you can soften it so there's a little more yellow in it. Um, but as you can see, these uh, these types of lights can actually do double duty uh, in that they will also hold your cell phone uh, for you to record as well. So they can be a handy uh, thing to have. So if you don't have a tripod, uh, but you think you might need some extra light, um, then you can certainly uh, go with one of these uh, these setups. But very, very cheaply. Uh, had and, and you know, I think lighting is one of the most important things when you're when you're filming video. Um, if you don't uh, have a kitchen that has uh, lots of natural light, or you know maybe um, you're you're doing your filming at night because you work during the day, um, so maybe you want to add some extra lights uh, just to to kind of lighten up those uh, those shadows that can appear. Um, so yeah, so that's basically you know what you're going to need uh, to start uh, making videos is just something to hold your phone or your camera, like a tripod, and maybe some extra lighting if it's required. And and you know for sure you don't need to go fancy and buy these lights. Um, you know if you have desk lamps that you can use, uh, you know, and, and put them off camera, uh, they can work just as well. Um, but you know these these ones do come in handy. You know that they are adjustable, uh, and you know you can change the uh, the color temperature of the light and things like that. So lots of great options there, um, but can definitely be helpful um, when you're shooting your videos. Um, you know, and and having a couple of these. Um, so you know what I can do is I'll have uh, you know for a, a kind of a wide shot. Uh, where Kim is standing at the, behind the island and she's mixing and cooking, um, you know, we'll use one of these tripods to have kind of a wide shot. Uh, but then we can also use one of these small flexible ones um, to kind of, you know, if we want to focus in on on the pan that's on the stove or something like that. Or if she's doing a, a video just on her own, she'll often uh, just have the this little tripod out, you know, on the countertop beside the stove and just showing her, you know, putting all the ingredients in and things like that. So lots of flexibility uh, with these types of things and, and you don't need to break the bank. You know, we're not talking Hollywood production here. Uh, you can find these things very cheaply uh, at Walmart, sometimes the dollar store or, you know, on Amazon, of course. So uh, hope you uh, find this a little bit more helpful. And uh, wish you uh, good luck in your in your video making. All right, welcome. And uh, right now, I'm going to give you uh, a quick little tutorial on how to edit videos using the Windows Video Editor. So if you have Windows 10, and most newer computers will have Windows 10, uh, you can find this uh, under Video Editor in your Start menu. If you don't see it there, you can always go to the Microsoft website and download it. It is free software uh, if you are running Windows. So when you launch it uh, from the Start menu, you're gonna uh, get to this screen here. Welcome back to Video Editor or welcome to Video Editor. Uh, you can see I've got some past projects here, but I want to click this new video project to get my uh, video started. So I'm going to click that and then you can name your video. So uh, I'm just going to call it uh, Tutorial and click OK. And so now I need to add the, the raw video clips that I want to use. Uh, so I'm going to click on add here now uh, You're not going to see it on the screen, but it's opening up one of those uh, You know add file open file dialog boxes So I'm just going to choose uh, a couple of video past video clips that we used and click on open and now you can see those 
in my project library, these two video clips. Um, so your video clip may be just one, and that's that's fine. You can edit uh, just that one clip, you know, if you want to, uh, if you need to do that. Um, but the first thing I like to do is to add a title card. And I do this with all the videos. So I click the add title card and uh, I'm going to add some text and I'm going to change the duration. So you'll notice 3.0, that means it's three seconds long. So I'm going to change it. I want it to be five seconds long. And then I'm going to add some text. So when I'm editing uh, videos for my wife, it's for her cooking with Kranken uh, show. And you'll also notice this uh, this bar. So this is your the duration of this particular video clip. Um, so I want the text to be there for the full five seconds. So I'm going to drag that over to the five second mark. And I'm also going to change uh, the text style. So there's different animations that you can see uh, in the uh, in the in, in here on the right, um, just some different templates that you can use. Um, I, I always do uh, this joy one because it's kind of colorful and fun. Um, and you can change, you know, where your text shows up on the screen, uh, but I always go with the full screen. Uh, that's the default. So I'm going to click on done, and then I have my, my title screen, just that five second clip uh, with it animated with the title that comes up. So then I'm going to add my two clips to my storyline. So I can just drag those down. And I'm also going to add a title card at the end. So these three dots here, uh, I'm going to click that and I'm going to add another title card uh, here. And it adds it uh, before this. So I'm just going to drag it over to the end. And uh, for this one, um, we'll just leave it at three seconds for now, but you can change that to any duration you want. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some text and I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching. And uh, again, it's defaulted to that joy uh, setting or that animation. So that is done. So now I have my, my bookends, if you will. And sometimes, you know, if, uh, if there's something that's going on uh, between these video clips, so maybe uh, she's put whatever she's cooking in the oven, I might add a title card in between that just says, um, you know, 30 minutes later, 20 minutes later, however long that thing's been cooking, um, just to kind of add a, a little transition between the two clips. Um, so now that I have my my rough layout, um, I can always go in and uh, I can adjust the volume if I need to. You know, if I want to go down on the volume, I can do that. Um, but maybe I want to uh, cut some of this out. Um, you know, maybe at the beginning, because if you're making these videos by yourself, you know, you've got to you know, hit the record button on your camera and then walk, you know, to wherever you're going to be uh, standing when you're shooting the video. So you may want to trim a bit of that uh, excess at the front. So you just have to click on the trim button here. You can see this blue bar underneath this clip is high, so it tells me that that uh, clip is highlighted so that I'm going to click trim. And usually what I'll do is I'll just click the play button and I'll see, you know, where I want this to end up. And uh, in this particular case, you know, the, Kim's mother was talking in the background and I had already hit record and we were ready to go. Um, and then I know she's going to start talking here, so I'll just stop it there. And then I'll just back it up a few frames and uh, I can hit start again. And, you know, just kind of knowing when she's about ready to, to go, right? Stop it right there. And then using this blue uh, start of trim slider, I'm just going to slide over there. So I'm starting about 15 seconds in. And then I'll usually watch the rest of this clip. And when I get to the end, you know, I'm watching it. Um, and when when she's uh, kind of done, um, looks like 
where I've stopped it here. Maybe she's talking to me a little bit, who knows? She kind of seems to be looking in my direction of where I am off camera. Um, so maybe I want to, uh, you know, wherever that uh, I want to be at the end of this video. So um, once I've stopped it, I can trim off the end of it, just like I trimmed the front of it. And then uh, just click done. And then I can do the same thing with, with the second uh, clip as well, if I need to trim that. Um, if I want to split uh, this clip uh, into two parts, um, I can uh, bring it up and maybe I want to trim it uh, to, um, you know, this would be about uh, two minutes. So I want that clip to be about two minutes. I'm going to click done. I can drag it again down into my uh, storyboard and place it where I want it to go. Um, and then click that trim button again. But now I'm going to trim, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'm going to go from three minutes to three minute point to, you know, the seven minute point. And I can trim it up at that point. And I mean, you can watch it and you can use the, the seek uh, feature to, to stop it exactly where you want to. But let's just say I want to go from about three minutes to about seven minutes. I click on done and then I've got that clip. And you can do that as many times as you need to to get, you know, a series of clips, even from one raw video. Um, you can take that, that one piece of video and you can chop it up and you can clip it and trim it uh, as many times as you need to uh, to get the right video. So that's really all there is to, uh, to video editing and just a very basic uh, video editing software and just a basic way to, to trim those video clips and add, add those title cards at the beginning and the end just to, just to dress up that video a little bit before you upload it to YouTube or uh, put it on Facebook or whatever you're going to do with that. So thanks for watching and uh, wish you good luck.